Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India. And this is a really smart little dingus. And I gotta admit, first of all, that this is my idea. I took uh, a look at one of KM4ACK's videos. I'll link that up here somewhere. Showing a little dingus called the AP Quick Connect. And you could order those from the United States, but, um, well, I am not in the United States. For me, ordering something from overseas can be cumbersome and expensive. So I thought, how easy is it to build one myself? And that's exactly what I've done. And it's basically a field repair kit. Uh, you have some power poles here, and you have a couple of Wago quick connects here. So should you break a cable in the field, you can just, with your knife, cut and strip the wire, put it into the Wagos here, close the hatch, and you got an emergency power pole plug. But how easy is it to build one yourself? Well, I'm going to take this away, find the right parts, and uh, we'll build one for ourselves so you can see how quick you can build one. So let's take a look at the parts we have here, though. We have an old cable, disused cable, with some power poles on it, and a couple of leads. That's going to be our starting point. We got two Wago and these aren't the usual Wagos, so I think they're called Wago inline connectors. So we have two of these. We have a piece of heat shrink. We have some side cutters and a cable stripper. I'm not going to go into how to mount the power poles. I got a video on that. Um, I'll link that up here and also down in the description for you. But let's go ahead and um, just we're going to cut this a little bit shorter just to make it a little bit more pretty and it's smart to try to cut these at some kind of similar length so I'm gonna see if I can just put them in the wire strippers and that's not gonna work really well so we'll take the wire strippers away and we'll just use the side cutters here to to strip off the insulation here And this is one of these video videos showing if I can do it, you can surely do it because this isn't necessarily the prettiest job. And we're going to try once again to get them at somewhat of an equal length. And I actually don't like using side cutters to strip wire, but uh, it's sometimes the best way of doing it. We're going to twist the wires here a little bit. So they're nice and tidy. Put one of the Wagos in. And I want to do this a little bit prettier though. I want to do it the other way. just so it's the same Wago logo on both of them. So this is the adapter. We could leave it like this, but we want to make it look somewhat professional. So I got a piece of heat shrink here. Slide that over like this. And let's get our heat gun and shrink the heat shrink and uh, finish this connector. And because someone forgot to start the recording, you won't see me shrink this heat shrink, but you've seen people shrink heat shrink before. So um, I don't need to show you that again. But that's how easy it is. If you have two of these, you can actually, if you have a bit of cable in the field, make a power pole to power pole cable just using the Wago connectors. Or you can hook two devices without power cables together like this. So what do you think? Is this a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Would it work for you? Let me know down in the comments. Also click that like button if you'd like to. Um, and uh, while you're at it, why don't consider subscribing? I have a lot more viewers than I have su subscribers. So there are always room for more subscribers. And if you want to support the channel a little bit more, there are some uh, memberships, super chats, super diddly do's and diddly that's down below. Um, if you can afford it and uh, you'd really want to, please consider one of those options as well. 
That's it for now, my friends. Hope to see you down the bands and in my next video. 7-3.